Welcome back. Two IMPD officers now in the hospital. Actually, I think one has actually been released this morning after being stabbed while responding to a call. One stabbed in the neck, one in the chest. It happened before 1.15 this morning. The officers responding to a report of a disturbance. Police say a man told them he was being harassed by another person. When officers began to investigate, police say it was that man that stabbed an officer in the neck, again, the other in the chest. They are both going to survive. We know that the suspect, though shot by police, has non life threatening injuries. We know the suspect is the one that made the 911 call. No one else is involved this morning. We want to talk more about the heroic actions that took place early this morning. And Rick Snyder uh, with the FBI, FOP is here. Long morning for you. I know you yeah. said, hey, I'm casual and I'll come in. I want to just dive right into this part about these heroic actions. I mean, we have these people officers stabbed what happens according to what you have learned yeah so uh the 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 salient point in all of this that we have learned is that both officers their lives were saved because other officers were able to apply medical treatment from these trauma kits that we have worked on for so many years now in indianapolis and i just wanted to take the opportunity to thank our community mm -hmm. uh, hundreds of people have assembled these and uh, donated money to make these happen. We've raised over $350,000 to provide these kits to every officer in Indianapolis, every officer in the surrounding counties, and we're now moving them into southern Indiana. People don't um, understand a lot of times that it's it, it's the, the wound, but oftentimes it's because, I don't want to say it, they bleed out. Yeah. They, they, they lose too much blood. That's correct. Um, and it's, that is what you heard in this case, that they were able to get this on these officers yeah, absolutely, quickly. Yeah, absolutely. Can I show this yes, to you real, real quick? Yeah. So these kits are in the cars, and they're actually custom made to be placed in the cars. The officers can assemble them, grab this red tab, pull them away, and then they've got the use of them. There's only four components in here, yeah. one of which is a tourniquet, which is used often yeah. to uh, save lives and stop bleeding. Uh, one is an OP airway. Okay. The other one is trauma shears. The key component uh, this morning is uh, this bandage. And the okay. key thing with these bandages is they open right up mm. and then inside them, uh, they're loaded with gauze. Okay. And so that gauze can be pulled out, applied to the wound. And what that does is that begins the clotting process mm. to stop that bleeding out. So you have an officer literally stabbed in the neck across the throat and another officer in the chest. These were able to be packed into those wounds, uh, stop that bleeding, save their lives. A trauma surgeon at Eskenazi made clear to the officers who were there that provided that life-saving medical care that their medical treatment, according to him, was spot on and absolutely saved their lives this morning. I want you just to, to kind of, I mean, you, you hear that in that split second. Yeah. It could have come a different way. Yeah, but here again, we're grateful to God. Yeah. And we're also grateful to all the people that make these kits happen because without these, we could have very different yeah. circumstances. And, and that doctor made clear it was that medical treatment right there yeah. on the scene. And then these officers were immediately loaded into police cars and you're not waiting right for an hospital. ambulance. Do you, was it the officer himself putting it on or was it another did other officers get there to be able to apply? Actually, them? what it sounds like is both. Okay. Uh, it was a team effort and it goes back to this to this superb training our officers get in Indianapolis, we, not just for each other, but for our citizens yeah. as well. We appreciate you um, telling about this and hopefully at some point we'll be able to see more about how that worked this morning and save those lives really quickly because I got to toss a break, but you have a news conference today because we also had a homicide overnight and we've reached record breaking homicides in again. Yeah. And so uh, we're going to be talking about that, but also sharing some of the legislative objectives we have for our state house this Thank upcoming session. Thank you for session. sharing that and hopefully even more money coming in for more kids. Thank you to everybody Absolutely. who makes it happen. We'll be back right after this.